Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to pass your driving permit test on the first try and I think when I took the permit test, I only missed I think like three or four questions um, I don't remember how many you can miss, but I'm gonna search that up right now I live in California, so these tips might have to be kind of modified um, to like your state because I know every state is different, but this is for California, but I'm pretty sure it works for most places, so yeah. Okay, so basically on the DMV written test, which is the permit test, there are 46 questions on the exam, and you have to get at least 38 right, which means you can miss 8 questions. So I'm just going to get right into the tips and tell you guys how I passed. So yeah, so first, let's just go over the basics, because before you take your test, um, there are like some stuff that you need to know. So... Basically, first thing I want you guys to know is to register early before you take your test because there's always like a really long waiting line and I know that for me, when I registered, I had to wait like three weeks to take my test. So if you're planning to take your test in like September, then I would register in August. Like if you want September 5th, I would register like August 1st just to be safe. Um, because it does take a long time, so just be aware of that. Basically, before you take your test, they won't let you take your test if you don't have these three things, and the three things you need to take your test are um, your cer certificate, certificate that you completed the course, and I'll explain that later. You also need your DL44 form, and you also need your birth certificate just to prove that you are who you are and you are of, like, the right age so yeah basically the certificate that you completed the course before you take your permit test you are required at least in california and i'm pretty sure everywhere else you are required to take um a traffic laws class so you know and basically um what i would do is i would just search for the closest driving school in your area and they usually have a driving school like everywhere so i would just go on google you could just do a quick search and you could just search up um, driving schools in blank in your area so that's what i did and they usually have two options they usually have an in-class option and they have a online course and for me i did the online course because i was not about to go into saturday school i'm just not about that life so i did an online course and it worked perfectly for me Honestly, I kind of just skimmed through the online course and I studied on my own because the online course was just, they give you a lot of information that you don't need to know. Like for me, my online course was trying to teach me about the history of cars. Yeah, um, basically I studied on my own and I had the little DMV booklet. Because the DMV, they always have a little book full of rules and my dad just picked one up for me and that's where I studied from because that book really helped. I just read it very intensely like I was studying for a test in school and I highlighted all the important stuff and I read through that and that helped me a lot more than the online course because I like they don't add anything useless in the book. They just they tell you everything you need to know and it's very concise and to the point. So I studied from that little booklet and you could just go to the DMV and pick that up. So that's what I did. And basically, um, Another way you can study to pass the test is to um, download state-specific apps. So you can kind of go to the app store and you can just search up like California permit test questions and then an app will come up and you can kind of just go through questions from previous exams and that's another good way to study because not everyone can like have the focus to go like through a book and everything so if you if you're not that type of person which is totally okay you can definitely study from an app and that helped me a lot i did like half of my studying from the app and half from the booklet what i should know is that you have to have your permit for six months until you can drive and your permit expires after a year the day before the test and this is really what helped me pass the test. I was studying from the apps and I was studying from the booklet, but what really helped me a lot was the day before I took the test, I searched on YouTube and I searched up DMV practice test tips or DMV permit test tips. And basically the best video on the internet literally popped up and God blessed me with that video. But basically I found a video with all of the questions. Basically, I found a video with all of the questions and I like 
okay let me just say before i say this part because this could be dangerous um don't only watch the video and take the test because it's really dangerous to do that because driving is a life matter and it shouldn't be taken lightly at all driving is very serious and the permit test is very serious too so when I was watching the video, I didn't rely on the video to help me pass the test because I had been studying on my own, but I kind of used that video as a review and I would try to answer the questions on my own before getting the answers and basically that's what I did. I knew most of the questions anyways, so yeah, that's what really helped me. So yeah, just to kind of like summarize this whole video, just register early, make sure you have the three things, study from the apps and the little DMV booklet, make sure to sign up for your online course, and then the day before the test kind of review with the video, I'm going to link it down below because that video saved my life. So yeah, that's what I would do. And um, those are basically all my tips. So yeah, just comment down below when you took your test, when you are going to take it, if you passed, if you're worried. Um, if you have any questions about the permit process or the license process, comment that down below and I will let you know and I will try to get back to you. Well, I will get back to you. So yeah, um, that's basically my video on how to pass your permit test for the first try. And yeah, I hope I helped you guys and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.